Welcome to GK Essentials, where we explore basics and useful tips for getting up and running with GKE. I'm Kaslyn Fields, a developer advocate here at Google Cloud, where I focus on GKE and open source Kubernetes. In this episode of GK Essentials, we'll take a look at a key element of your GK observability, Google Cloud Managed Service for Prometheus. Prometheus is an open source tool for monitoring and alerting. It's part of the CNCF and one of the most used monitoring tools in the cloud native ecosystem. However, managing your own Prometheus infrastructure can be challenging. It can be tough to scale horizontally as cluster size and the number of applications grow. As your workloads scale, it becomes both critically important and can be quite difficult to get a single pane of glass, showing traffic across multiple regions where your application is deployed. It's also an ongoing workload for your operations team. It's one of those things you need, but running it doesn't directly provide value to your customers. That's where Google Cloud Managed Service for Prometheus comes in. Google Cloud Managed Service for Prometheus is Google Cloud's fully managed multi-cloud solution for Prometheus metrics. It lets you globally monitor and alert on your workloads using Prometheus without having to manually manage and operate Prometheus at scale. It gives us the best of both worlds. You have the familiar interfaces of Prometheus backed by Google's PlanetScale Monarch time series database. Monarch is the same database Google uses for monitoring everything Google does, including search, YouTube, maps, and even Google Cloud itself. Plus, it's backed by a globally distributed team of Google SREs. Managed Service for Prometheus stores all data in Cloud Monarch which means you get fully managed, globally distributed, planet scale storage of all your time series data. Managed Service for Prometheus then wraps Monarch with Prometheus compatible APIs, both for writing metrics and reading metrics. And because this is the same Monarch instance used by cloud monitoring, you can query over 1,500 Google Cloud system metrics using PromQL right alongside your Prometheus metrics. Managed Service for Prometheus is split up into multiple components, including data collection, query evaluation, rules and alert evaluation, and data storage. For collecting the data Prometheus will monitor, you can make use of the service in one of two ways, managed data collection or self-deployed data collection. Managed Service for Prometheus offers an operator for managed data collection in Kubernetes environments. This operator runs in your cluster and scrapes the metric endpoints exposed by your applications and infrastructure. We recommend that you use managed collection. Using it eliminates the complexity of deploying, scaling, sharding, configuring, and maintaining Prometheus servers. Managed collection is supported for both GKE and non-GKE Kubernetes environments. With self-deployed data collection, you manage your Prometheus installation as you always have. The only difference from upstream Prometheus is that you run the managed service for Prometheus drop-in replacement binary instead of the upstream Prometheus binary. In short, choose managed data collection if you don't want to take on the responsibility of managing Prometheus servers. And choose self-deployed if you want the least change from your current Prometheus setup. Another important activity of Prometheus monitoring is making queries. PromQL is the query language to query data from Prometheus. Any UI that can call the Prometheus Query API is also supported in the managed service for Prometheus. That includes Grafana and cloud monitoring. Your existing dashboards in Grafana continue to work just as before, and you can keep using any PromQL found in popular open source repositories and forums. For rule and alert evaluation, managed service for Prometheus provides a standalone rule evaluator that can evaluate recording and alerting rules against all Monarch data across multiple projects. No need to co-locate the data in a single Prometheus server or on a single Google Cloud project. The rule evaluator uses the standard Prometheus rule files format, making migration to managed service for Prometheus easier. All managed service for Prometheus data is stored for 24 months at no additional cost. There's also no limit on the number of active time series or total time series. In this episode, we talked about the Google Cloud managed service for Prometheus. It's a best of both worlds solution that enables you to use open source Prometheus just as you have been while backing it with Google's planet scale time series database, Monarch. We went over the basics of your data collection options, either managed via the managed service with Prometheus operator on any Kubernetes cluster or self-deployed. 
the Manage service supports any query UI that can call the Prometheus Query API. Using Grafana and Cloud Monitoring UI, you can use PromQL to query over 1,500 metrics in Cloud Monitoring. And we went over the Manage service for Prometheus provided rule evaluator and data storage characteristics. With all the great features discussed in this video, we hope you can improve the observability of your Kubernetes and other cloud workloads. You can get started with Manage Service for Prometheus by visiting the Google Cloud Console and checking out the links below. And stay tuned for our next videos where we dive deeper into other GKE topics.